Hey guys, Tonic here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own survival tent for free. Let's check it out. Now, what is a survival tent? A survival tent is a fallout first item that you can place pretty much anywhere in the world, and it's going to have all sorts of things. It's going to have a cooking station, a scrap box, it's going to have a stash box as well as a sleeping bag, and a musical instrument as well. Now, the survival tent is great and all, however, it does cost money, and not everybody wants to pay the monthly price of Fallout First. However, I do want to say that there is a free method available with the recent camp slots update, where you can make your own survival tent and make it even better than the one that already exists in-game. Now, with the basic idea of this, you're going to make your second camp slot a little survival tent, or survival platform, I guess you could call it. You're pretty much just going to make a very small structure that has every single workbench that you need, a stash box, all of your stuff for cooking, and special loadouts. You're going to take that, make it into a very compact thing that's very easily placeable, and run around, and you can place it just as freely as you would with a survival tent. Now, unlike the survival tent, this is going to cost you no actual money. It's only going to cost you in-game caps, and even that being said, the in-game caps it's going to cost you is very minimal. It's about 40 caps every single time that you want to move it. Now this is an absolute game changer and by no means is it my idea. There's actually been a lot of people doing this kind of thing from the start of the game making very compact caps that you can really place anywhere. However, with the new camp slots update, this is actually much more viable now than ever before. So let's actually try building one of these camps. So first thing you want to do is rename your second camp a survival tent. And once you've done that, head over to somewhere where you can build and place down a 2x2 structure. And then you want to place down a single staircase to get into it. And then once you're up here, take some defense railings and just kind of fill it in a little bit to make sure that everything is compact within here, not hanging over the sides, or else you will get a cannot place camp item as floating error. And then once you're in here, just start placing down your workbenches, but try to keep them a little bit farther away from the sides there, because if they do kind of clip through it, you can have some issues placing it. So always just double check them, make sure that they're all right. Try and get one of every single workbench as well. I'm actually going to move that one right over there. And then you can toss on musical instruments, you could toss down your special stuff, you could toss down a stash box. Oop, a little bit of a glitch there with that weapon workbench. Toss down a sleeping bag, and then you could toss down a lamp here for some lighting. You can always use a generator and actual lights as well, but I just find that the oil lamps are nice. And then make sure that nothing's clipping through. And we're all set. So some other things you can do, you could always toss an actual tent over it and make yourself an actual budget survival tent. I've done that before. It looks pretty nice, but I just like the openness a lot more because you can place more things. You can always place some turrets around for some extra defenses. And enough, a really nice thing that I found out is that you can actually make this self-sustaining. So what I mean by that is it is going to cost you camps every single time that you want to place this. So if you head over to your resources, you can actually place a Collectron right in the center here. So if I was to place a Collectron, let him run whenever I have this camp placed, I can actually go grab all the stuff that he collects and go and sell it back to a vendor and then have a fully self-sustaining survival tent. Now you can always try using prefabs like the uh, shed here. You can also use other things like the communist bunker, wherever that is, you can use this log cabin. There's a lot of prefabs that you can use, however, I find that sometimes they're very hard to place on uneven ground, where when you have a floor like this, it's just much easier and you can pretty much put it anywhere on the entire map. And one last tip that you can do is try and turn off the public map icon just so you don't have people traveling here expecting a full camp. I mean, you can always place vendors here, you can make it extravagant as you want, you can even make it even smaller if you want. However, I just find that this is a perfect size here to really fit a lot of stuff on here. I could probably put some more things as well. Like, I don't think I had a cooking station placed down here, but there's a lot you could do. There's a lot of freedom that you can have with this one, and I really hope that this helps some people out because not everybody wants to pay for Fallout First, and honestly, 40 caps every time you want to move it versus paying a few dollars a month is a very good option for a lot of people. So I really hope that this helps a few of you guys out, and I also do want to say that I have seen this done where they only throw down one shelter opening, and then they use that shelter as their survival thing where they travel in there, they have all their workbenches, they even have a full built camp inside of there, however, that is going to have a loading screen, and for most people they just want to be able to throw this down, scrap some stuff, throw their stuff in their stash, and then keep on going, and I think that this is actually just a very cool thing, so I kind of wanted to show it. Also, before you go, I do want to mention that I am starting up a Top Photos of the Week series on this channel. So if you want to get involved with that, hop into my Discord. You can post your photos there and submit them. And then I'm going to run through them and pick my few of the week that I think are the best and then make a whole entire video based on that. I'm not sure what day I'll do the videos on, if I'm going to do them on Fridays or Saturdays. But still, it's going to be done next week. And there is already a lot of submissions in there, so be sure to get yours in there as well. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, a massive thank you to all the channel members. 
Timothy James, Esdeath93, Heather Henderson, Jaden James, Blackburn, Yosevated, Patrick Ruta23, Icefire, Jay Smith, Argent Deer, Bowser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Robert Kennard, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Artvark, Lone Samurai OG, Deeth, and Gaming Christy Melon Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you guys and have a good weekend.